press play. You can play button. Playing? I'm outside the venue. I'm outside the, the uh, speed skating venue. Yes. This is the first time for me to watch Beijing Winter Olympics through VR 8K headset. Images have greatly improved compared with Tokyo Olympics. These images of the Beijing 2022 venues are so vivid that I feel like literally being here. So I want to show you what I saw through the goggles. I was on the ice where athletes were skating around. They were so close to me. The 8K system will totally change the way of watching sports events. So I'm going to interview the technicians who are working on the VR Olympics. Where we are now is, the, is really the hub of uh, Olympic Broadcasting Services uh, technical area. Uh -huh. uh, this room here uh -huh. is the International Transmission MCR or Master Control Room. Yes. Uh, and this allows our team here that you see okay. uh, to monitor all the incoming pictures so on one side you see all the incoming video feeds from all the different venues around beijing yeah. and from the map right and obviously with many right mm -hmm. okay let's go these guys are looking after that mm -hmm. uh, we then have uh, mds here which is uh, the multinational uh, distribution system the team in this area is called olympic channel news hey. So this is the VR team, right? Yes, this is I the VR team. I know him. We oh, met yes. before. Hello. So this is the the, uh, the VR studio for all the VR content that we put out. Great. Uh, we don't do every event live for VR. Uh, we do around two events per day. There's normally one in the mountains uh, and one from the, the uh, Beijing events. Um, and we don't do every sport because, uh, in truth, not every sport works very well in VR. And some do work well. So where it works well is where we can get close to the athletes. And for that reason, we select certain sports to, to offer live coverage for. Um, on top of the live coverage, we also create highlights um, and features from all the other sports. So every single sport is covered in VR in some way or other. The big highlight really for us, for VR this year, yeah. is uh, we're offering 8K coverage for the first time. Yeah. Now, uh, what I would say is that um, if you view a 4K television broadcast mm -hmm. and an 8K television broadcast, many people can't really tell the difference. Mm -hmm. there's, not, there's not a huge jump. In VR, the, the difference is staggering. It's a, it's a considerable improvement on, yeah, on yeah. what we were offering in Tokyo yeah, and what yeah. we were offering in Pyeongchang. Exactly, I experienced it. So at each venue we have uh, uh, five or six cameras, uh, specific, specific uh, VR cameras, mm -hmm. and, and you can see these here. Uh, and uh, uh, when the live coverage starts, uh, this studio will switch between the, the best option. We really try to get really close to the action to really put you right there. Um, so usually uh, great sports like uh, short track, it was wonderful, or you know, ice skating. Uh, here we have aerials. Uh, we can really get next to the jump, you know. Uh, so it's, it really feels like you're right there and you can really witness, you know, the mm -hmm. jump from the start to, to the yeah. end. For example, this is the landing this spot, landing. so you see exactly where they land. Okay. We overlay graphics on top of it, so we have the TV feed as a virtual jumbotron mm -hmm. and we can, we can make it zoom out for, for the replay so that after there's a beautiful jump, mm -hmm. you will see the replay with all the close-up and the slow motion from OBS as well. Great. Each games, it's got better. Um, but the biggest jump, without doubt, was from Tokyo to Beijing, where we switched from 4K um, video to 8K video. And that has made a significant difference in the quality of the pictures that we're offering in virtual reality. Um, people like to see what's going on in the, in the surroundings. So they may be, they may be uh, they like to see the cameraman on the side, of, on the side or, the, or the crowd or the judges and being able to see everything that's happening in a, in a stadia is, uh, is a very different experience to what you would see on television. This is what uh, virtual reality is all about. It's about putting the viewer in the venue and being there and feeling like they're being there. And clearly with the pandemic and the, and the, uh, the restrictions on, on access to the venue, this, this um, definitely helps fill that gap.